Here we are, welcome to the job today. And uh, this is the roof we're cleaning. Quite a few awkward angles on this one. Um, in fact, I don't think I've done one this awkward for a little while actually. But, um, but anyway, um, there looks to be like quite light colored tiles peeking through under that dirt. So we'll see how we come up. I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out. There have been a couple of alterations to the roof, the customer was telling me. Um, these dormers have been added on and there's a couple of adjustments at the back. One of those peaks was once a flat roof and it's been turned into a peak roof. So I'm expecting that there might be some different colored tiles underneath all that dirt. There are just two tiles here that have slipped down. Let's see if I can push those up before we start cleaning. Um, that sort of gives us a little glimpse of what the colour of the tiles might be like underneath. So anyway, let's crack on. Hope you enjoy seeing the cleaning happen and take place. And um, we'll see how it goes. How about that? The tiles are actually yellow. <laughs> um, that's quite a transformation. And now you can see the 
where the tiles have been replaced on those dormers and have been added on at a later date. So we've cleaned everything up, washed everything down. Um, we're just moving operations around to the back. There's a couple of little awkward bits on the ends. Uh, and then we've got the back to do. There's a bit more moss on the back, so it's gonna be a bit more work sort of shoveling up and moving that around. What's happened on these tiles, what I think's happened is the older tiles have um, this dark colored coating on them and they're so old that most of that coating's weathered away. You can see on some of these lower tiles, there's still a bit of that coating left behind on some of the tiles, whereas further up, they've weathered away even more and there's basically none of that coating left. And the black algae and the lichen and the moss is kind of causing that coating to, to deteriorate and weather away. So we've just used a very low amount of pressure and you can see there's still some tiny bits of lichen kind of left on a few of the tiles. We're gonna treat it all now with the chemical, or I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow actually, once we've done the back. Um, and that chemical will kill off any growth, organic matter that's left behind, and it'll help stop it growing back as well. So the, cu the customer was actually asking me whether I would recommend a coating to be put back on the tiles, um, like a paint coating. I don't normally recommend that, it's pros and cons, I suppose. It will make all the tiles look more uniform again because they are different colors where the newer ones and the older ones. Um, but I think it's not long then before that coating starts to weather away and maybe flake. And then you've got a problem on your hands. You've got to reapply that again. Um, so I usually just recommend to customers to have the chemical treatment, the biocide reapplied every three or four years. And that's a really great way to maintain the roof, stop that organic growth the biofilm stop that growing back and that will help lengthen the life of the roof tiles the mortar um, all the different aspects of the roof it will just help stop that algae and growth coming back which is eating away at the tiles and the different aspects of the roof sort of holds the moisture um, so yeah I don't know there's pros and cons to each but that's what I normally recommend it's just a regular treatment anyway moving around to the back uh, here we go.
that's all done. What a difference from the dark, dingy tiles like they were before. Now they're all cleaned up and bright and yellow. Really brightened up the place. Another roof transformed and the sun's even out. <laughs> all the links for the podcast, the training courses, if you want to get into the industry and learn how to get similar results to this, all the links are in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one.